You're tuning into the Tech Me Show only on YouTube. Hey everybody, Lance from the Tech Me Show. Today we're going to utilize a tech surface analyzer. Uh, this will actually, hopefully, potentially prevent any uh, security issues. But let's go ahead and not waste any time and run this baby. We're going to select Run Scan. Again, this is assuming you already have it. And right now it's going to collect the data from our machine. Um, and the good news is it's going to go all into uh, a CAD file, basically, once the tests are done. Um, as you see, it's going fairly fast. Um, might take a few moments on your machine, depending on the RAM, CPU, etc. You know, the usual things. Um, but we'll see in a second how good or, well, how bad my machine is. And it'll be even more interesting because recently I uh, installed Web Matrix on this machine uh, because I'm getting ready to start doing some PHP and HTML tutorials with you guys. And. Well, we'll see uh, how that goes. If you guys like it, you don't like it. But anyways, uh, we're about to find out and see what goes on with this test. It's uh, getting closer. Um, and it looks like it's uh, scanning security event logs, uh, dumping the system boot, enumerating ports, logon sessions, and what have you. Um, now, there's a lot of tools from Microsoft that are free that most people, you know, don't realize or don't download whatever the case may be you should definitely check out the Microsoft blogs that's the place to be you're gonna find things there that you won't find really almost anywhere else sometimes um, maybe you do know about the attack surface analyzer maybe you don't maybe you know about the Microsoft baseline scanner which is not new but when it first came out most people didn't know about it till version 2 uh, but anyways let's see what's going on here uh, we have, what's that, uh, about two pending, and the enumerating files, I don't know what exactly that is doing and what files. If that's my whole machine, well, we'll be here for a while. So, I guess uh, we'll see in a second here, huh? But it did everything else quite quick. I'm a little impressed. Then again, I don't know exactly what it is doing, so maybe I shouldn't be too impressed. I do like the fact I'm looking at the list here. It did check out the Windows firewall. That's great. Um, if you're someone like me, I have tons of different... Um, port openings and uh, different items in the firewall um, and uh, I'm happy to see it's gonna check it out and see if I did anything right or wrong <laughs> I guess we'll see Okay, so it looks like it's done. We have the cab file. Let's go ahead and open it. And here's what's inside. Let's go ahead and... Oh, well, isn't that interesting? It is XML documents. Let's go ahead and uh, let's figure what could be safe to show you guys. Well, probably everything, really. Um, let's go ahead and open up the security events. We'll go ahead and do extract. We'll do it to our desktop here. Go ahead and open it. Or actually, we'll go to edit. Can't be that empty, right? Must be loading. Nope, it appears empty. Odd. We'll go ahead and delete that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to shares and extract. We'll go put that on the desktop. There we are. So, here's the shares that we have. This is okay. That's fine. Good. 
Okay, we can go ahead and remove that. Let's just take a look at a couple other ones. Let's say ports. Hopefully this has uh, the web browser I'm running here. Maybe not. I don't know. So, good to edit. Here we go. 68.137. I do like that it gives me the IP address. That is nice. And the PID. And the protocol, because I do use IPv4 and 6. 138, 1900. These are all normal looking ones. This is looking pretty normal. And as you see, here's our uh, IPv6 UDP. Looking good, looking good. And just a little trick if you wanted to go through this a little quicker, we could do find. And we copied this. We'll change it from 139, and I want to know where 8080 is. Find. And here it is. Good. So we know the local address is, would be localhost if we really wanted to see it. Um, and, uh, yeah, looks good. Well, that'll do it for me, guys. We'll see you soon in another Tech Me show.